the Save Dina Ali hashtag gave us another opportunity on Twitter to have the argument about whether or not Western feminists are wasting their time in the first world while women are being raped, murdered, mutilated with acid in the third world while Western women are, you know, living the life of Amy Schumer and Lena Dunham. Don't you get it, guys? There's no need for Western feminism. Hillary Clinton, you know what's so funny? The same people that, like, came out of the right wing uh, talking point soup, talking about how racism was over because uh, Barack Obama was president, so uh, why, the, why, are, why are black people still complaining you got your president, racism's over? Those are the same people that came out of the 2016 election cycle with this talking point about shut up white western feminists. You're wasting your time in the first world. Hillary Clinton, hashtag Hillary Clinton is the end of patriarchy, misogyny, and danger for Western women. Or the same the same YouTube skeptics that that, that really trumpet the Dina Ali hashtag. And not to a person, but the majority of the, the big ones who are doing all these streams and tweets and help save Dina Ali. This is a woman in danger. They use Dina Ali as a weapon against Western feminists. I'm not going to say they don't care about Dina Ali, but I think that they weaponize her situation against people that they politically disagree with in Western countries. And in the YouTube space, obviously. So, yes. 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 Hashtag save Dina Ali. Hashtag her life was important. God forbid, because there seems to be a lot of evidence that she was... <sighs> Dina Ali was trying to escape persecution in Saudi Arabia. She was trying to get to Australia... And uh, was intercepted in the Philippines. She was held by immigration forces there until her family could make their way to the Philippines to drag her back to Saudi Arabia to uh, be tortured and killed in accordance with uh, Saudi Arabian Islamo rape culture. And that's tragic. And we need to be aware of that. And we need to spread awareness about that tragic situation. And yes, we can chew bubblegum and walk at the same time. We can pat our head and rub our stomach at the same time. But, the right-wingers and their collaborators within the liberal, skeptic, rational, reason community on YouTube and Twitter don't support feminism in the West. They say, they say it's a done deal. So today we're going to talk about Levina Johnson. Since barbarism, misogyny, are over in the West, let's talk about a female soldier who was 19 years old and was stationed in Balad, Iraq in 2005. Lavina Johnson was an honor student who quickly after graduating from high school decided to join the U.S. military during the height of the Iraq war. That's courage. As much courage as Dina Ali had to muster up to leave Saudi Arabia and take the risk that she did, Lavina Johnson had to accept the same dread that in order for her to do what she felt was necessary and what was right, she was going to have to risk her life. 
Lavinia Johnson's family received her dead body back from Iraq, but she did not die in combat. No. See, all the evidence seems to point to the possibility that Lavina was murdered by other U.S. soldiers on the base that she was stationed on. See, Lavina Johnson was a victim of the epidemic of rape within the U.S. military. And this, this epidemic of rape applies to male and female soldiers. I want to acknowledge the victims of both genders here. But we don't have sexual barbarism in the West. You know, the, 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 the details, if, if I gave the details of the, the Lavina Johnson's murder in a vacuum to some of these YouTube skeptics and asked them, do you think that this happened to a Western woman? They would laugh it off. Lavina Johnson was found with her face beaten beyond recognition. She had been shot in the head so that they could make it look like a suicide because the military wrote it up. There was no way, there was no way that the gunshot wound that Lavina Johnson sustained in her head could have been from what the, the, the report on her death issued by the U.S. military. So this is an institutional problem. This is an institutional problem. Sharia and Islam, institutionalized Islam, is not the only form of systematic oppression and exploitation of women. When you talk about that issue, you are talking about another system within a wide spectrum. But the mechanism and the outcome is the same. In order to cover up the fact that she was raped before she was killed, Lavina Johnson's attackers poured acid on her genitals so that they could dispose of any sort of physical evidence that she'd been violated. These were first world perpetrators. This was a first world victim. This was a first world institution covering this up. Privileging these men in the murder of a woman. The U.S. military. No Sharia law that I'm aware of. So do me a favor, rationals. You want to honor Dina Ali, I do too. Remember her name and honor her by standing up for the Dina Ali's in the U.S. military. Stand up for the Dina Ali's in American universities. Stand up for the Dina Ali's in your local community. Hashtag save American women.